And this is Mike from Mike's and Boxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we take a look at the Arco CM2 C3 G2. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we're taking a look at Arco's latest and greatest in their M.2 lineup of enclosures. This is the CM2 C3 G2. Basically, the G2 is the second generation. So, the original version of this one was a slightly slower speed. They've increased this. This now has support for up to 10 gigabits per second using USB Type C or Thunderbolt connections, that kind of stuff. And they've made a few other changes to it to make it a little bit easier to use, a little bit easier to install your drives, and more importantly, actually keeps your drives considerably cooler, which is absolutely awesome. So we're going to go through today, do a quick unboxing on this, see what we actually get. We'll install a drive so you can see how that works, do some speed tests, and then we'll come back with my final thoughts. So looking at the packaging, as you can see, it pretty much says what it is. It's M.2 SSD enclosure. So this is compatible with NVMe drives only, not SATA M.2 drives, so it does need to be an NVMe style drive, and of which you can use pretty much any size, so the 2230s all the way up to the 2280s, so that covers pretty much most desktop drives on the market commonly. The actual outer chassis or casing is made from an aluminum or aluminium alloy, which makes it nice and tough and also has excellent thermal properties. It supports the UASP format, so basically it's going to be completely plug and play and also it's got a really good chip on there, so you're getting the best out of that 10 gigabit per second bandwidth. In terms of connectivity, you've got the option, so you can use a USB Type A or you can use a USB Type C. The actual unit itself has a USB Type C connection on the rear. The cable included actually has the option for either USB Type C or USB Type A. Obviously, depending on what you connect it to, that is going to dictate what speed you get out of it. On the back of the box, it goes through some of the specifications, such as the dimensions, and it's actually pretty compact. So we're looking at 113 by 38 by 14 millimeters, and it supports both M and B key drives. In terms of support for hardware, this works fine, plug and play with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and also Android devices. Obviously, your Android device does have to support it, but generally most phones will. Before we go too far in as well, I should say that this has actually been sent to us free of charge for review purposes by Oracle themselves. Although saying that, it isn't an overly expensive device, and looking around at other similarly spec models, this actually comes in at a pretty good price at somewhere in around the £25 mark, which I think is actually pretty decent. Obviously, there will be links in the video description so you can check out your local pricing. So let's take a look inside and see what we actually get. So, inside there is a instruction guide, it tells you how to put it all together. All clearly laid out. You get a USB cable, so this USB cable is about 30 centimeters in length. On one end we've got a USB type C and on the other end there is a type A, although this is pretty cool because there is just a cap on there, so you remove the cap and that reveals another USB type C. So you can pretty much take this wherever you want to and you're pretty sure you're going to find a drive or a device with either USB type A or type C, so very flexible in that regard. Also in the box we've got some accessories and bits and pieces, so there is a strip of thermal putty, so that is to basically put on top of your drive and then it actually attaches to this heat shield, which then goes on top to keep things nice and cool, and all of that then goes inside the actual unit. There's also a couple of standoffs included, these are rubber ones, so these are actually really cool. There's no tools required for this whatsoever, as you'll see shortly when we put it all together, so it's nice and easy to put together, you don't need to have a screwdriver or anything like that. And last of all, we'll take a look at the unit itself. And this is actually pretty cool. It's a very solid metal construction, nice little details on the edge, beveled edges, etc. On one end, you've got the quick release, and also there is an activity LED. On the other end, you have got the USB Type-C connection, also with that all-important 10 gigabits per second stamp on it. Opening up the device and getting inside is very easy. All you do is pull that slide across and push it out and you can remove the actual tray from the caddy, which shows you the chipset, etc., and where the drive actually physically fits into here. So like I said, this will fit NVMe drives, which are of the M.2 standard, 2230, 2242, 2260, and 2280 in terms of length. If you're not sure what drive it is, just look at your drive. The 2280 basically means it's 22 millimeters across and 80 millimeters long. So if your drive is only 42 millimeters long, you know it's a 2242. Make sense? Hope so. So I think that's about it. Let's uh, put this thing together and see how easy it is to assemble. Okay, so let's get this put thing put together. So we've got our silicon power donor drive, a one terabyte model. So what we're gonna wanna do is to put it into here. So this is the actual caddy itself once you've opened it up and you take note of the actual keying of the section down here. So that matches up. So all you wanna do is put it in on a slight angle 
give it a little wiggle until those pins disappear inside. Then you can grab one of the little rubber bungs and stick that on the end of the drive. And that basically holds it into place inside the unit. And this might take a couple of attempts because it is rubber. And there we go, that's locked it into place. So that is it, that is the drive effectively installed. So also what you wanna do is to grab the thermal pad, peel off one side and stick it over the memory chips on the drive itself. Give it a little press, make sure it's attached. Then you can peel off the other side. There is a protective coating on both sides of the thermal pad. So make sure you remove those. And then you've got another metal shield which goes on the top and just put that over the top and it clicks into place, press into place. And there you can see, fully installed, ready to go. Now what we need to do is to put it back into the unit and it only physically fit one way. So obviously I did it the wrong way. There we go, so that's locked into place and that is effectively it. All done and dusted. So there on this end is our USB type C and also on this end, there is the quick release catch and also your activity LED. So if you want to remove it, just slide that across and push from the back with a finger or something and you can slide the drive back out. So there we go, that's locked into position. So if you want to use it, all you want to do now is to plug in your USB type C connection into the drive that locks into place nicely. And then you can plug in your USB type A or like I said earlier, your USB type C into your device and transfer your data files, which is very easy to do. And in fact, we should now look at some other testing. With USB Type-C, you should be able to get read speeds of somewhere in the region of 1210 megabytes per second when it comes to read and about 1000 megabytes per second in the write. Now, clearly that is over a USB protocol, so there is gonna be a little bit of overhead and also error checking all that kind of stuff. So let's have a look now and see what we actually got out of the drive under testing conditions. So in terms of the read speed, we managed to get 1,015 megabytes per second on the read and also on the writes, we've got 977.76. So pretty good. In fact, not a great deal of overhead there, about 30 megabytes on the writes and somewhere in the region about 200 on the actual read. So actually still pretty decent. We're getting basically a gigabit per second going across this drive, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And one of the best things, it didn't get hot at all. And when we started off, we measured the temperature of the drive. It was 26 degrees Celsius in our room, which is basically room temperature. And even after our testing, it only got up to about 28 or 29 degrees. So about three degrees difference. And holding it in your hand, basically you could feel there's a very slight a bit of warmth there. It didn't feel hot to the touch at all. So absolutely excellent. If you're looking to transfer a load of files, maybe you're doing video editing, and you're capturing files and you wanna transfer them from one unit to another. Maybe you've got your laptop and you wanna plug it in, that sort of thing, USB Cs or USB As. A very handy little device. And to be honest with you, for the sake of about 25 pounds here in the UK, possibly even less over in the States, I think this is a very handy thing to have. Even if you've got, maybe you've picked up a drive, bought it off of eBay or a used drive and you just wanna wipe the drive or use it as storage, whatever the case may be, enclosures like this are actually super, super handy. So massive shout out to Oracle for sending this over to us for review purposes. I'm actually tempted to buy a couple more of these. They're very handy to have, and you never know, maybe give some away to some of my friends for Christmas. Anyway, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button, and if you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, hit subscribe and the channel notification, and be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.